okay, Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising. We need to talk about your day-to-day. We need to talk about maybe it's your job or it could be daily tasks. It sounds mundane, but there's it's not going to be mundane for much longer. I'll put it that way. The way that your physical reality is playing out right now is about to go through a massive hit to the side consider it like an like i guess the titanic hitting the iceberg now this isn't to say that it's going to sink to the very bottom and everything's going to perish but perhaps some of the ways that you've been charging through perhaps some of the ways that you've been moving from place to place and going through the motions and being quite perfunctionary has to uh, shift now i don't want to put the fear of the goddess into you it's happening for a purpose. It's happening for, for, for a greater good. So sometimes when we find ourselves in a certain position or a certain routine that is just not working for us anymore, the spirit can't help but intervene. After a cataclysm this big, after a big shake-up, there is a clearing and there is a tremendous opportunity for that change to provide us with some new perspective have a think about the rhythms of life have a think about how you spend your waking hours there is safety in routine so i completely understand the worry about lack when we have certain rhythms in place when we have our systems and our to and fro of how we spend the waking hours of our day and what we participate in in order to keep the checks and balances pay the bills, all of that kind of stuff. But with a change to that part of our lives, which can be very daunting and can be quite destabilizing. But think about what can shift and how how you'll re-enter after that rumbling, after that earthquake has subsided how are you going to regroup how are you going to restructure what your day looks like and know that the longing for stability and for groundedness and for material success is still very achievable if the process of how to get these things has been innovated and moved around the eclipse is playing out on a very interesting two cards in the tarot the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles are both being activated by this eclipse one of them is the lord of material trouble the other one's the lord of material success so there is that sort of real disparity between being terrified of being left out in the cold and not having enough and not being able to provide for yourself and for other people for being cast out as it were for being ostracized for being left defenseless and for being in a position to be able to provide and to offer gifts and to care for other people, to be charitable, to be having enough in the back pocket to be able to spread it and move it around. It's so interesting that there's no in-between between these two cards. It's the five and then the six, and it happens so quickly. That is maybe an example of the precariousness of this life of the material world. I think that we're all really noticing that the changes to our collective day-to-day are just undeniable. Who we were two years ago is absolutely no, no longer who we are now, and that's to be celebrated if you can. There is definitely a moment to lament the losses and to grieve, but you're still here and you're still alive and you're still contributing. So with this eclipse, I really want you to understand that whatever shifts happen in your daily practices, whatever big movements occur, know that you've got the stuff to pick up where you need to. Know that you've got the tenacity to be able to scoop up whatever it is that you need to scoop up in order to get by and to rub those two sticks together and make that fire know that there is going to be an opportunity for a real reimagining of what your daily practices look like 
after the turbulence of this, this eclipse season. Another thing to remember is that we are really playing on a counterbalance between two really differing energies over this, this eclipse. The solar eclipse is happening in Taurus. There's a massive upswell of love and positivity and beauty happening in Pisces right now. And Pisces is in your fourth house of home and roots and stability and family and comfort and privacy. So everything that you're feeling in that space, and it's interesting because I have a feeling that there might be part of you that wants to strike a match to that too. You might be saying to yourself right now, okay, that does it. I'm packing my bags. I'm moving to the farest, most desolate, remote place that I can find. I'm here to tell you that you mustn't do that. I think if your day is going to be going through some big shifts, if your if your if your rhythms of life are going to be going through the big eclipse changes, then your home, your nest, is there to provide you with the comfort and the love and the beauty and the simplicity that you need right now. It's not time to go following. Uh, or seeking out, and I know, Sagittarianos, you are the ones that want to jump on that plane or that train or that bus and get the F out of here. But trust me when I say that now isn't the time. Now is the time to really open your eyes and have a big, big look around at what is provided to you in the home, what kind of peace and comfort and and relaxation can you muster in that space now isn't the time to start drafting up the treasure map for the next adventure i think the effects of an eclipse can be felt for anywhere up to 12 months in six months we're going to have another set of eclipses on the same axis but in opposite ways so there will be a full moon in taurus there'll be a a real opportunity to release what has began to change and manifest in your day-to-day now In six months, we'll be able to look back at this time and go, okay, now I purge that through, I let that go, I move forward from this. So I think, yeah, absolutely don't look past the benefits of home. Don't look past your creature comforts. Break your slippers out. Get your oven-baked treats stocked up. Get comfy and know that you're safe. Know that whatever happens in your daily rhythms, whatever, if that, and that could be in rela- relation to a whole bunch of different things, you know, it can be quite, it can be felt in, in many different ways. The destabilization is something that I really want you to move with and through. I'll put it that way. All right, Sage, I think that's all I have to say at the moment. Let me know how you like this format, if it's a little bedtime story with your with your auntie Uma is working for you rather than reading your horoscopes. I'm testing myself at this eclipse too. This is coming into my third house of communication. So I'm kind of trying to work with the changes and roll with the punches in that aspect. So let me know, send me a little message. Uh, I will be back in action in two weeks and I'll probably be doing another little voice message for the lunar eclipse in Scorpio and then after that I'll go back to the more formal written horoscopes and pick a cards on YouTube but I just thought this would be fun for a change love you all very much big kisses from me to you happy eclipse season remember that the changes are vital and necessary as scary as they may appear to be to begin with I love you and I'll speak to you in two weeks bye